What's good, YouTube? Drop Down TV. Haven't done a video all year. I've been giving people a break. I mean, a lot of people say I was giving Umar Johnson too much attention. I mean, so I fell back with the videos. I mean, I, I didn't want to be the reason. I'm not saying I was the reason, but I had another channel that was putting up way more than numbers than this one. To be honest, this is why I started this channel. I mean, I didn't want to be the reason that people felt like this dude or, or people like us was the reason this dude couldn't get their school off this ground. And you got you to gotta understand something. This was later on last year. This wasn't this year. This happened later on last year where I gave all this a break. I was like, okay, I'm not going to produce no more videos. I'm going to get this dude time to see what he can do. Here we go, four or five months later, my man, and we still have no school. You still sitting in these dusty corners. Doing these videos. And to all the followers out there, the ones that I was saying, yo, I feel your pain because I used to be a Dr. Umar Johnson follower too. If y'all still donating money, man, some of y'all might need to go to institutions yourself. No disrespect to nobody. I'm not shooting low blows at nobody, but come on, man. Y'all haven't seen this dude produce nothing in eight, nine years, but y'all still want to donate. Then I noticed where his videos went, man. Honestly, I'm like everybody else. I follow this dude on Instagram. Just for the simple fact, I want to see the shenanigans that he puts up on Instagram. He used to put up videos on Instagram. Shorty don't even put up school. He don't even put up videos no more. You put up little posters like this. I mean, Bill Walton was the first. Yeah, we understand all that, man. But come on, what's up with this school? Last little video I hear you doing there. You talking about you trying to get some shit up for some homeschooling. I mean, just because of this thing they got going out here, I don't even want to say the word, but y'all know what America, America is going through right now. I mean, so I'm assuming they feel like, I'm assuming he feel like since he can't go out and promote everything now and get get up in these in these lectures and all that, he going to have to do it from YouTube in a corner. Now you can call in and, and, and go to his home school. Come on, B. Enough is enough. And to, and to the ones that are still following, man, if y'all still want to continue to donate y'all money to a tour cause that's never going to get up off the ground, continue doing what you do. I've never been nobody hater. I mean, y'all work for y'all money. Y'all do what y'all do with y'all money. I just feel there's so much more going on in the world right now than outside of y'all giving Umar Johnson money. I mean, it's, 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 it's a lot more going on in the world. And at the end of the day, he has come to the end of his road. That's why he don't put up as much videos as he used to. I mean, he's not as confident in his sales, uh, uh, I mean, his sales pitches he was when he first came out because I think he done told all the lies he possibly can. And once you sell all the lies you possibly can, and all, all the lies you possibly can, you have nothing else to sell. And right about now, I'm thinking Omar's running around a place where he have nothing else to sell. I mean, you went from being in these little hotel rooms where we could vouch, yeah, you, you was in a hotel. I mean, it costs money to stay in a hotel, but the last couple of videos been people been putting up with you, my man. It's like you ducked off in the corner. People saying you in a warehouse. People saying you under some stairs. People saying you living in the attic. Hey, man, at the end of the day, Scooby, you kind of got to get this shit in order. And I've been saying this. What y'all people got to understand, man, I've been screaming this. I'm not going to say I was one of the first... But I've been on Dr. Umar. If you check my first page out, I've been on this dude for years. You know what I mean? Because I used to follow the dude, but see the difference between me and a lot of y'all? I caught up on the bullshit early. Never donated no money. So if you want to say I was a fake follower, then so be it. I don't care what you say. Never donated no money, but I was a strong believer in what this dude, I mean, what he was saying to a certain degree. Come on, man. Here we are eight years later, bro. You just got a dusty school of people calling crack houses and abandoned warehouses. And you ain't put no paint up on joints. You got people driving around your joint that ain't been out there. But, like, I think a dude put up a video about your school. He wrote around your school like a month ago. Shit look like an abandoned dump, man. You took all these people money to, to buy a warehouse that you do nothing with. Nothing. No lights. No water. And now you don't even put up videos. You throw up these little memes and all this on Instagram that you create. I mean, come on, man. People people didn't pay all that money for you to throw up memes on Instagram. People honestly didn't 
donate all that money for you to be shooting these low budget videos sitting in a corner ducked off somewhere up under the stairs people didn't donate all that money for that umar i mean come on my man like you you you've been running this shit and everything comes to an end i was saying that shit dumb years ago it's like he gonna hit a brick wall eventually everything has his day every dog has his day umar johnson had it to the point my man he flying all around the world on y'all money on y'all dime but he can't even get a hotel room to look like now. B, that's why all his little videos, he scrunched down in the corner looking. Come on, my dude. Look, <laughs> you're making yourself look bad, Umar. And I guess you come, I guess you have, I guess you realize that now. That's why you don't do as many videos. But damn, what you going to tell these people that you took all their money? I mean, you just think now you're going to fall off the face of the earth. First, you used to do a shitload of videos. Now, you don't do no videos. You just post memes. So what's going to be your next step? You just going to not post it all and just hope you fall off the face of the earth? Nah, my man. I mean, all oh, that money you donated and you sitting in somebody's corner in a storage bin, let it be told. People say you're in a storage bin doing videos now. You collected all that money to do storage videos. Couldn't even afford it. Come on, man. Where your house at, B? I mean, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been digging up, I've been digging on you for years, my dude. Like, I mean, cause it, you know how black people are. We like to see strong black people that, that know what they're talking about, try to make a change in the world. But my dude, I don't want this. I don't went from seeing you go from sugar to shit. You on, you on your last leg right now, my man. I mean, you used to do it in your car. Now you don't even do videos in the car. That's how you done went from your car to a corner. Come on. Umar, you damn near had a million plus dollars. Out of all that money you got, you telling me this is all you got to offer these people now is these bum-ass videos that you don't even put up no more? Well, you used to put up them bum-ass. You don't even put up videos no more. You wasted a lot of good people time, and a lot of good people feel some kind of way. And, and eventually, you're still going to have to answer because you got to answer for everything you do in your life. I mean, just because you ain't ran across some of these people and I mean that you done, done donated all this money and my man, much as much as you was getting around, you're going to bump heads with some people that's going to be very unhappy about what you did, B. I mean, and it's crazy. Here I am six, seven months later and you still doing the same bullshit. Come on, man. Like, when I gave this shit up, I thought when I came back, at least you would have had some lights and, and something going on there, school. B, you ain't got nothing going on. Same bullshit. I mean, guess what? Since I'm back, I'm going to keep the pressure on your neck. I'm going to keep digging up and seeing what I can find since you hate niggas doing so much research on you. I mean, it's Drop Dime TV, yo. I'm out. Y'all be good. You'll hear from me again. I'm back on my Umar Johnson thing. No worries. Y'all be good.